Hi there, come on in. Welcome to Home Keepers. I am so glad to be here today and I'm glad you're there and if you'll just stay with us, you will be very glad you did. So if this is the first time you've seen the program, I want to welcome you and we have all these faithful viewers out there every day. We love you. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, I was raised in a home with a lot of music. We didn't have a TV. And uh, so in the evening, we gathered around the piano, we sang, uh, we all took piano lessons, we all took all kinds of music lessons. I wish every home had a lot of music in it. And uh, we are going to talk about music today with a wonderful, wonderful young, very young concert pianist. His name is Noah Waddell. And he is uh, 13 years old. And we have just come from the uh, music set here at the Christian Television Network where we've watched this young man perform and uh, we all kind of go around speechless. Uh, you'll see what I mean. But uh, God has gifted this young man and uh, it's gonna be a very, very special treat for you on Homekeepers today. And I'm going to join Stephanie in the kitchen. I was trying to think, what would a 13 year old boy like? And we came up with something that is something they would like, but also something kind of healthy. Have you ever heard of a taco egg muffin? Well, that's what we're going to fix. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Noah ate two of them already, so we must have chosen the right thing. So we're gonna fix those, and then uh, you will meet this young man, and you will hear him play. But let me remind you, we are viewer supported. That means, guess what? That the viewers support us, that's what that means. And if you would like to send a financial gift to this program, and you use a credit card, you call 1-800-229-0059, or write to me, that address right there is on your screen. Homekeepers, Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758. And when you see the quality of talent we're bringing you today, it ought to be a big gift. I think so. What do you think, Steph? Oh, I'm in <laughs> awe. I am in awe of Noah. Yes, and uh, what a treat that we, we can take him to our viewers. Mm -hmm. So, he already liked it. Yes. Did. We worked that boy. I mean, we really worked him. I'm I was a, exhausted when he was done. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit guilty, but um, you're doing that. What do you want me to okay, do? Okay, this is a half a pound of hamburger. I'm putting in two tablespoons of taco seasoning, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put in some water. You're going to crack a dozen eggs. A dozen? A dozen, and I just spilled water all over the place. Oh, my goodness. Well, you also told me uh, you were going to go to... Target for something. Yes, I went to Target yesterday. Okay, my husband uses Head and Shoulder shampoo. Oh my, we're getting into a coupon. I can yes, tell. Yes, yes. So they had uh, Head and Shoulders on sale for four ninety nine. So we'll say five dollars. Okay, and then if you buy three, you got a five dollar Target gift card. Okay, so I bought <laughs> six. Okay, I had three five dollar off coupons off of two. So that was 15, so I went from $30 total. Uh -huh. it, the coupons took off 15, uh -huh. okay? And then I got two $5 Target gift cards. So for $5, <laughs> I got $30 worth of shampoo. Well, you know what, That's, that math is just too hard for me. <laughs> That's the that way those the, extreme people do it, right? That was one of those easy ones. <laughs> Dozen eggs? This is a big one. Yeah, it makes, this, this is one of those economical frugal recipes I love so very much because you could easily make this for probably $8 and it makes 20 muffins. Uh-huh. So you could freeze them and take them out every morning and you have breakfast every morning for a week and a half. If it's just you or, you know, mm -hmm. a couple family or dinner. Now, does all this, this all this stuff go in here? Yes. You have cheese. You have onions. Ew. Green peppers. <laughs> yeah, she won't put green peppers in hers. <laughs> you have black beans, which we drained and rinsed, which I made mm -hmm. the mistake of not doing that on the first show. Uh -huh. um, I mean, on the first time This'll I did be it. better so then. They'll be more pretty. And then you have a can of pet uh, petite diced tomatoes. Okay. So you're just going to put all of that all in. All right. What a, what a cool idea for brunch. Yeah, I mean, and it's this is going to be very filling. Sorry, guys. Uh -huh. This is going to be very filling. It's healthy. Yep. And you could make this vegetarian 
take the meat out, mm -hmm. put the taco seasoning in with the beans and the tomatoes and heat those up a little bit. That would bit. work? Mm -hmm. That would work. So well, easy, it could be easy vegetarian. Well, I'm just thankful that when Noah came in, he was hungry. Yes. I said, you want to eat now? He sure. Did, and he gave us <laughs> he gave the us Noah Waddell -okay. stamp of approval. Well, that's all we need. Doesn't that look good? That really does look yep. pretty good. And okay, then, and then I'm going to put my okay, meat in there. Then when they're finished, you uh, put uh, salsa on them or whatever you want. Yeah, so then you just spray a muffin pan. Oh, we didn't do that yet. Yeah, spray the muffin. That's a little muffin. Oh, that's very pretty. Yeah. yeah. I love colorful food. Yeah. And these are the little ones. These are like the Those are going to be bite-sized. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So then you just fill the muffin pan up. You cook it for, oh, about 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. And so these, these those were are baking? the ones with green peppers. Yeah. These. So you get one of your kind. I get one without. Well, I know that's going to be good. Yeah, see, this the second batch is going to be more pretty because I did not oh, rinse Oh, why is that good? Do you want some salsa? Mm-hmm. There, now try it. Hey. I think this would. I, love I think Mexican you could really food. give these to your young kids, and they'd like them. Oh yeah. Are you kidding? Mm-hmm. That's good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is very good. That's mm. a. That's an A plus. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Now, after you see the. The information to get your recipe, you're going to hear Noah play uh, "Fly the Bumblebee," and then I'm going to sit down and talk to him. So if you want this recipe, you can email us or write to us, no, no cost. You do want this one, I'll tell yes. you that. Uh, but just be inspired. Listen to Noah. If you would like a copy of today's recipe, just write the address on your screen, or you can email your request to artheline at rippy.org. That was fabulous, Noah. Thank you. I'm so glad to meet you. A friend uh, told me about you, and I started checking out your website and all, and I got more excited the more I learned. And uh, your pathway to this point's been quite interesting, really. You didn't grow up in a musical family like I did, right? No. Did you have any interest at all before your seems like almost by mistake your parents bought a piano, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any thoughts about playing the piano because weren't you seven years old? Yes. Um, and so it's, a lot of times what you would call a child prodigy starts younger than that. So had you thought about music before you got that piano? No, not really. We were just, uh, on my seventh birthday, we were going to go get an ice cream and my mom saw a piano store and said, let's go in. And so we decided to go in, and then, you know, the piano salesmen are like used car salesmen, <laughs> and, and they want you to buy everything. And so 
we bought a piano on a whim, and then the piano salesman uh, took out his book and said, here, and he gave us a teacher. And we did that, we were with that teacher for the first three years. Uh, but when you got it in the house, did you start, you know, kind of messing around with it? And I might have played, maybe just poked mm -hmm. it with one finger or something. Uh -huh. <laughs> you're, uh, so you're 13 now, and that's uh, about six years. It's, it's just incredible how far you've come. Um, you not only master very difficult pieces, um, but your inflection is so great, but also you memorize them. It, okay, for instance, Fly the Bumblebee, that was about a minute and a half, but you play songs that are nine minutes long and they're all memorized. Uh, is that part of it difficult for you? Uh, not really. It's probably the learn uh, Flight of the Bumblebee, it probably took me about uh, like two weeks. So I've never seen you play with a sheet of music. Yeah. Uh, do you read pretty quickly? They give you a new piece? Uh, yeah, fairly, medium. Mm -hmm. How old were you when you played with the symphony for the first time? Uh, 13. 13. Mm -hmm. So that's been quite recently. Um, also, you play in, I guess, in the rotunda of a hospital in Fort Myers. Uh, do you still do that weekly? Yeah, I do it every Friday at 4, and I donate my time to the hospital. Well, that's... Congratulations for doing that. Um, what, what do you see for your future? When I grow up, I want to be a concert pianist. Mm -hmm. It's just very... Emotional. Yeah. Very satisfying for you, isn't it? Yeah. You play in a lot of churches? Yeah, I do. I, I have some concerts that I'm doing up in churches and performance halls. And uh, We have Noah's website up, and uh, to you pastors and church leaders or civic um, leaders, what a treat uh, to bring uh, this young man to you. So I hope you'll write down that website. Also, uh, not very many people your age have put out a CD, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's beautiful. I've listened to a lot of it. And uh, it seems that you, your number one love is classical music. Yes, I only play classical mm -hmm. music. I, I don't like the others too much, but I like classical the best. Yeah. Uh, so I take it you're not a real rock and roll fan. <laughs> um, you, now you've entered uh, quite a few competitions. I would not want to follow you if I were uh, in a competition. <laughs> Did you, didn't you recently win uh, you know, an international? Yeah, I just won an international competition that was held in Fort Collins, Colorado. Well, um, I was born there, Fort <laughs> Collins. It's a be beautiful city, isn't it? Yeah, it's very nice. Now, how do you, um, how, how many, how much time do you spend practicing every day? Uh, usually about three to four hours a day. Have your parents ever had to tell you? to go practice? No, not really. Like mine did? <laughs> not yeah. at all. And, and what else do you do? Um, I understand that you like sports. Yeah, uh, I play tennis, uh, pickleball, fishing, hiking. I like hiking. <laughs> and what, what about your regular studies? Do you have a, a favorite? Uh, I like math. That's interesting because um, I think every every child should have some music because it uses a part of the brain that that helps math and other things. But not only that, sports and music kind of round a person out. Now, of all of the um, classical things that you've done and you've memorized or recorded or whatever, do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite composer? Uh, I like Beethoven because it's so deep and complex. <laughs> That's probably my favorite composer, Beethoven. Because it's deep and complex. Yeah, it's really... So you must be the kind of boy that really likes a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. 
And um, have you have you studied the uh, composers? Because they certainly fascinate me. I've often wondered, like in Handel's Messiah or something, maybe the Hallelujah Chorus, if if that was swirling around in Handel's brain, uh, you know, and he had to get it on paper. It, it's so complex, it's so uh, intricate and all, and uh, have, have you studied any of their lives to try to figure out if there's a pattern there? Uh, yeah, I, I've uh, read about the composers and everything, yeah. It, I really, it's uh, very educational. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you you want to go right on the path to being a concert pianist, which doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be college, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, how do you plan? How do you plan to do that? I mean, you're on the path now, but um, and people are finding out about you and so forth. But is this just one thing that you just take one step at a time and one symphony here and one yeah. orchestra here? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, one bite at a time. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, do you see yourself on the educational end at all, uh, or just the performing? I don't know. I haven't really uh, known yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to think about it. Yeah, I want to be a concert pianist. I probably want to do music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you broaden your uh, your repertoire? It looks to me like you're. You've mixed it up pretty good with the composers. Mm -hmm. uh, I learned about probably like maybe ten pieces at a time, and then. Did you say ten? <laughs> <laughs> You're making me tired. <laughs> and uh, I just work on them, and I, uh, and then eventually it just comes the pieces. Yeah. Now I understand you have two teachers. And uh, what does each teacher bring to your education and your ability to play? Because certainly they must have different things they offer you. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, different uh, techniques and uh, freezing, yeah. I, I told your dad when you first started to play, I was so amazed at your strength. No, you play like you're a 300-pound man. That's all I can say. <laughs> 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 have you ever thought about that? You, you seem to have a natural inclination for the emphasis at the right time, and sometimes it. And to be honest with you, uh, we've had we've had a lot of great people play that piano, you know, in the last 30 years. But I can't I can't even remember an adult male that had more strength and emphasis than you do. Have you ever thought about that or just comes naturally? Uh, yeah, probably naturally, but you just got to use your weight. It's when you play the But piano, you don't have much weight. <laughs> yeah, you just got to use the shoulders and Use your shoulders. Sink. Yeah, it gives a lot of power. Now, when you get a piece like that, a Hungarian Rhapsody, which he played nine minutes, all memorized, um, have you heard that or you've just learned it? Well, I've heard it before. I uh, First time I heard it was from the Tom and Jerry cartoon. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that one is yeah. used in cartoons and it's perfect for that. However, though, that wouldn't be a true rendition of it. What I want to know from you is, have you heard it or does, does all of your phrasing and your emphasis, does that just come naturally to you? Yes, it comes oh, naturally. that's amazing. I think I said something at the top of the program that God gives a gift and there's no question yours is God given and I believe you realize that. I believe you realize that. And the beautiful thing about your life and talent is that you realize he gave you the gift but you got to make it better. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what three hours a day practicing does for you, isn't it? Yeah. Does you, you got two teachers here. Do they assign you new material? Well, I choose the pieces myself. Do you really? Yeah. And you choose it by looking at it? Uh, uh, by the pieces that I've heard and I really enjoy. 
When you get a new sheet of music, though, can you look at it and you kind of know what it's going to sound like? And uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Uh, now, I'm very impressed with your family. Thank you. I think that, uh, that your parents are doing a great job leading you. And, all, and you have a beautiful sister who, uh, she's an opera singer, right? Yeah. Do you all perform together? Yeah, we've performed at churches and everything. And she's, and my sister is going to college in the fall. Oh, she is? Yeah. You're going to miss her, I'll bet. <laughs> yeah. I bet she miss her. Uh, you are in what grade now? Junior uh, high? Yeah, I'm in eighth. Eighth grade. So, uh, man, it's, it's hard for me to imagine how how much you could improve in the next years before you get out of high school. Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you sound perfect to me. I'll have, I'll have to say that, that, that uh, when you play, you sound perfect. Okay. Uh, do you like to, <clears throat> I know back to the sports a little bit, because I think sports and music really round out a person. How much time can you give to that? Because you give an awful lot of time to your other education. Uh, maybe a half hour, maybe a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. probably a half hour. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been a treat for you to uh, come here. We really appreciate it. I hope we didn't work you too hard. <laughs> we really <laughs> ask yeah, a you lot did. of you. You you love it, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that information on this uh, great talent, this great ministry that this young man has and his family, uh, it's been on the screen for quite a while. I hope you were able to uh, take note of it. And uh, we're, we're going to play what, of all the pieces you did, this is one of my favorite, uh, the Hungarian Rhapsody. Is that one of yours? Yeah, that's probably my favorite. Uh-huh. One of my favorites, yeah. And it's nine minutes long. How long did it take you to ever memorize that? Uh, it probably took uh, about a month. Wow, <laughs> that's all I can say. I sure appreciate you coming. I hope you'll come and see us again. Thank yeah, you. Sure. Uh, so we're going to go out on this program uh, listening to Noah again, and this time he's playing the Hungarian Rhapsody. Enjoy, friends, and I'll see you on the next Homekeepers program. <laughs> 